What's up, guys? Keel Whiskey back here again. This is part two. So, I've got out this new character, completely new character, into the game through the first tutorial. We are now in the second or the third map in into Lubeck City. And we're going to show you how to do the basic or the bare minimum to be able to unlock Outer Lands and get into the next map. And there's a couple quests we got to do. There's a few things around the city uh, that we'll show you. And once we get to the second map, we'll progress onwards and show you how to unlock, unlock uh, every map pretty much after that. So first thing that we're going to do now that uh, we're here at the station, we got to find Franklin. Uh, let's see here. Package for Franklin. I was promised 30,000 rubles. He is... Silly me. So Franklin, it actually shows me where he's at. He's down here at the bottom of the tracks. So let's go ahead and head down to Mr. Franklin, turn this package in and get some money. That is our first order of business. That noise you're hearing is coming off of this device. This is called a jammer. It's to scare away certain mobs to keep this area safe for the newbies. Remember this jammer for later. Okay, so here's Mr. Franklin down here in Charlie 6, Grid 1. I have a package for you. So, gained 30,000 rubles. All right. Now we're up to 40,000 rubles. So let's go ahead and head back to the station and talk to Mr. Acid, a.k.a. Lieutenant Dan, the guy in the wheelchair. On my way back to Acid, there's these two NPCs here. You can talk to this guy. He's going to ask you for some pieces of fried meat. Uh, and uh, what if I hire myself? I'll get you some meat. You want to tell him? And then I brought you some meat. Here you go. TT or Uzi. So I will actually, I'll, I will take the Tokarev ammo. Thank you. So I already had uh, five pieces of meat in my inventory from the previous map. So right there, quickly just got myself some free ammo and some points. All right, here he is, Lieutenant Dan, Mr. Acid. Hello, we're gonna run through his dialogue. Okay, so now that all his dialogue's complete, he's gonna have us go and talk to uh, I already talked to that NPC. So we got a couple different people that we need to talk to. Shank, he's the leader of the bandits down here. We got Mark. And then Greek is over here in, uh, what is that? Charlie 4. And then Mark is in Charlie 3, Grid 4. So once we're here, he's going to give us some initial quests. Sergey's over there. He is the weaponizer. Igor is the tailor. And then we have a bar guy, a, a medical doctor and then our warehouseman right here so our bartender will actually buy certain items off of us so come over here what's on sale uh he will buy some i'll give him this raw meat that i got because that's all i have that i'm willing to sell and at this point in time what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and buy this table knife off of him and come over here i should have a jackknife but I, he won't buy it uh, this table knife is a slight upgrade over the jackknife, and that's why I'm buying it. It's 2,400 rubles, and I got 40,000. So, easy peasy. Let's go ahead and grab this table knife and equip that. Uh, we'll sell the jackknife to whoever the first buyer is that I come along with. Uh, our warehouse men, our doctor, our doctor's probably going to give us He's going to talk to us about a quest to get vaccinated. And you definitely want to do this quest to get vaccinated. He does not have what I'm looking for. So the vaccine quest is over here. And what is this? The, at the police station. So if we do this very short quest for this guy, we're going to get a vaccination that's going to give us a boosted stats against chemical and biological attacks. It's like 5 to 10 percent. It's a permanent boost that'll be with your character throughout the rest of the game. I would highly recommend doing it. In addition, you also get 50,000 rubles for completing it. 
So definitely an advantage there. All right, let's go to our warehouse guy. And we're going to open our vault. So we're going to dump off any item that we do not need. I can click uh, shift. And I can highlight a row of different items that I can drag and drop but it won't allow me to drag and drop a row if it has a red text or a quest item in it. So I can use control and I can select specific items that I want to take and drop into my warehouse. So I'm gonna drop this TT ammo and all this other stuff here that I do not need. So we wanna think about weight management and whenever I die, there's a chance that we can drop different items. So I want to get rid of anything that can I, I can potentially drop. And like I said before, you always want to collect anything that you find along the way because every item can be sold on the board for profit or be used in a future quest or crafting. So always collect everything and just hoard it in your warehouses. There are different warehouses like this throughout the, uh, the maps in the game. And as you unlock them, they will show up over here uh, in this list and a way you can kind of cheat and unlock that storehouse quicker is by coming out here to The board, but first I got to talk to this NPC that it kind of forces me to go to This is the board We can buy it's an in-game player market uh, And there's lots of different items in here that we can go and purchase off of we can search for it by item name so I, I can type in mod and it'll show me mod tickets uh, I can Type in uh, M4 if I want to look at specific types of, you know, uh, a gun. So you can search thing by name. We can narrow things down by stockman. So I can do station stockman. And it's currently showing me all the items that are available for sale at the station stockman. Prices. I can click on price and it will categorize things in here by cheapest to most expensive per unit. And I can click it again, and now it's going to change the sorting to most expensive to least expensive. Uh, and then we have orders, and these are different daily orders that we can do. They're like quests, but you only get these quests through the board. They're good to do. Bounty hunting, so these are assholes that have killed neutral players too many times, and then the neutral player is able to place a bounty on their heads. And you can see their status with the players online, offline. And if you uh, accept the bounty, it'll show you on the map where the player is. So you can go and kill them and, and get the bounty. There's an achievement for that. These are different PvP modes uh, that will currently uh, the season seven is over with. So we have to wait till season eight before you can get points. You can still PvP in these different game modes, but you won't get any points for it towards the Officers Club or for the PvP ratings. Uh, don't uh, believe these ratings over here. Like, if you see people in the, the top spots of these ratings, it doesn't necessarily mean anything because a lot of these people will just cage match their points using alt accounts to give them free kills and... You know stuff like that so they can they can get up to the top so just because somebody's on the top of this list doesn't mean they're necessarily a good pvp or it just kind of means they no life their way to the top of that list um so don't worry about that at all uh, we have different items over here and just because something's listed on the board don't yeah you have to take these prices with a grain of salt uh, I could take a piece of meat and I could put it up on the board for several millions of rubles, but then, you know, uh, I have to pay t uh, a kind of a tax on placing it on the board. So you kind of want to know what things are actually selling for. Don't just go off of what's what's here on the board. This is a whole video by itself of how the board works and how different markets work. So I'm not going to go too much into that right now. But what I can do is I'm going to click on Gourmet. Uh, let me go over here. And the wrong button. So ninth, let me get some cheap. So this guy is selling one buckshot for a hundred rubles. That's uh, close to what they actually sell for. But uh, for shits and giggles, let's go ahead here and buy it. So I just got an achievement for buying an item off the board, and I bought that item. It was at Gourmet Stockman. Or, you know, Sergey the Smuggler, which is in the next map over. So if I come back here to the vault, open the vault, 
go up to and now I can see hey look but I cannot drag and drop this item into my inventory because it's in a separate location but what I can do is I can go click on postages and then I can do create postage and then I can do send to me and then right now it's at gourmet stockman or I can click station stockman drag the item drop down into here and I can send rubles, I can add a comment, uh, and this is where to, who to, and click send, and then it's going to give me different options. So the base price is going to take 12 hours, cost me 1,200 rubles, and the courier cost is 61 ruble, uh, and then express is 9,000 or 61, and because I have premium, it's going to be 9 minutes. Uh, 9,000. So, total, it's going to cost me 9,000 rubles to mail that one set of buckshot here. So, that's because that's a minimum transfer fee, basically. But if I was to buy a gun in a different map, I could transfer that to me. Uh, I don't actually physically have to go and get it, or I can mail things to that vendor. So, let's say I'm headed to the next map over, uh, and I want to mail all these items. So what I can do is I can come here and do a shift, highlight all this stuff. I can throw it down in here and then I can go to Gourmet Stockman and click send. And now I see again, that's the minimum delivery fee of 1900. I can mail all these items to the warehouse in the next map over. So I don't have to worry about dying and then potentially losing valuable items on the way there. I can just mail stuff back and forth. But uh, yeah, that's how that works. So let me go ahead and get on our way to getting this character out of this map. This video is going to be a little bit longer than our previous one because there's just so much more that we have to do and, and go through. So I'll try to keep it as short as we can and uh, keep it to the highlights. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump over to Mark in Charlie 3 Grid 4. And he's going to have us do a couple different quests. Uh, so let's go do that. Okay, so now we're here at Mark, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Asset sends with his guards. He's going to ask us to go to the warehouse and get some grenade parts for him. So what we're going to do is, as shown on the map, here is the warehouse. We're going to go there. We're going to kill uh, ten dogs, three rats, and collect five crates to get the grenade parts. And didn't come back to Mr. Mark. Let's jump to the warehouse. Okay, so here we are over at the warehouse. We're going to have to talk to Ivan to get us uh, to have him let me in the game. You just tell him I'm from Mark. And here we are. Now we're inside the warehouse. I have not bought any ammo or anything yet besides that table knife. So I still have the jackknife, and now I'm down to nine bullets. And I have 25 TT uh, rounds for my pistol. So I have not fired one shot from my revolver since I created this character. And of the initial 20 rounds, I'm down to nine. I've only had to kill like one or two dogs along the way. And just conserving ammo like that, uh, I'm able to get a little bit further. And yeah, well, there we go. So there's an invisible line right here on the floor that you can't really see. These dogs will stop. So let me come right up to about like right here. And he should, yep, there he is. He'll turn around and he'll walk away. So using that invisible line to my advantage, I'm going to switch over to my pistol. And let's see if I can... I'm going to try and use up some of this ammo. So I got plenty of uh, rounds of this ammo. I don't have to harvest these dogs. I just got to shoot and kill them. But I can kind of just sit here at this line at my leisure and just pick these dogs off. Pistol is terribly inaccurate. It also doesn't help that I'm a low-level player. Oh, there we go. Right in the face, really? Three of the ten. All right, so let's go ahead and bring this. Sh oh, I gotta kill three rats.
You're gonna bite me, aren't you? Come on. One dead rat. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. There's gotta be like something going on with the hitbox of that rat. There's also a, a freshwater well here. There we go. See, there's that invisible line. It's right about there. Was looking at him. Did I use all the ammo up? I did. I, I literally went through all 25 rounds there. So, here comes the shotgun. Alright, let's go ahead here and uh, get these weapon crates. So, the first box can be against this fence. Okay, click F on it and he'll search it. There we go. So now we're gonna run in this building over here and search. There's two boxes in this building. That was terrible. I missed both shots. I get back behind this invisible line. So I can go ahead and use a bandage. I might have to go and get ammo actually. Six. I want to try to kill the dogs on this side over here. And kind of use this door to your advantage so I can dip inside this door. I don't understand how that was a miss, but okay. Next crate. Looking for stashes. A lot of times there'll be one or two along here. And our last, there's our other weapon box. So that is three of our boxes. You'll see what I'll, I'll take advantage of this door now. They'll come at me. Figured I was gonna get okay, one left. How many dogs have I killed? Nine. I gotta kill one more dog. And I have two shots left. So you see this dog's gonna come at me, right? And what I can do is I can step on the other side of this door. He won't come through that doorway. He'll actually run around for some reason. He'll come all the way around this way to try to come at me, and I can literally step through this doorway, and he will turn around and try and come back at me the other way. So he'll go all the way down, and he'll come back through that door and try and come this way to come at me. I don't know why they do that, but, uh, yeah. So I got one bullet left. All right, I got one bullet left, and there's a bunch of dogs over here. I got no bullets left. Alright, but I got my knife, so let's do it, right? We're gonna... Let's go for it. Run in here. I'm gonna run down this way. We're gonna wait for all the dogs to come to me. Step through this door. Come at me. Literally gonna step through here. Probably gonna get eaten. Oop. Oh, he almost got me. Oh, he did get me. I got hit twice. Did I make it? I made it. I got this. So that should have been both uh, crates out of that 
Now that warehouse. Let's get over here. Let's uh, go to journal, vaccine details, package. All right, I've completed everything. And I have no bullets to my name right now. All right, let's get back to Mark. But first, uh, let's get some ammo. Let's jump over to the police station. Okay, so now we're here at the police station. Let's go see if I can get lucky and find some ammo. I have things to sell. I'll go ahead and sell these dog hides. And uh, actually, I'll hang on to that meat for the time being. Let's see if you got any ammo for sale. TT ammo. You do. He's got seven. Oh, okay. Uh, he doesn't have any slugs for sale, but he does have some pistol rounds. I'm just going to buy ten rounds. But I can sell him my jackknife. I got some cotton gloves. Where did I get these from? I don't know, but I'm going to sell them these cotton gloves. Uh, turpentine and this stuff, I'm going to hang on to all that. Hang on to the cloth. Uh, I will sell him the lead. The 9x19 armor piercing, I will sell him that. Um, all right, make offer, confirm. Back up to 38,000. And that courier at the station gave me a package that I'm supposed to give to him, but he says he doesn't know anything about it. So it's actually going to go to the House of Culture to an NPC called the Old Coon. He's Greek. Let's go. He's going to tell me about a couple different things. So we're going to have to get some reports from the different towers. Uh, actually, the vaccine uh, quest that we need to do. Did I walk past him? I walk past him. Right here. Yes. Okay. Yada yada. Who are you? I get I get it. I... Vaccine, cash, fifty thousand rubles. So I got some more XP off of that. Uh, what's next? Clear them. Don't know for the mission. There's dogs I see, so alpha males. Okay, so that's for the vaccine. This is a, uh, a laboratory station. It's a workbench so you can make different medicines on. And there's another NPC over here, Alex, that we can talk to. And we're just running through a bunch of different stuff. Okay. So, let's see, I need to talk to you. Why do you seem so nervous? Okay, I'll check. He's got a suspicious noise. It's a very simple quest we can do. Uh, like, literally, we're just going to walk over here into these woods right about here. And we're going to get a quest update. There's, like, a young boar walking around. You don't need to see the boar. Don't need to shoot the boar. You just got to walk over here. Oh, well. There's the boar, but I'm just going to head back because I don't have any ammo. Alright, that boar's going to give up chase. But quest complete. Done and done. Look at that. Okay, let me go to number three. Go ahead and load my revolver with the 10 bullets that I bought. First thing we're going to do before we go back to Mark, uh, we're going to jump over to the House of Culture. So Mark has asked me to uh, get the stuff out of the warehouse, which I have done. I've killed the dogs and the rats, so i got to bring the stuff back to Mark. But there's another quest you have to complete to get out of here is get three checkpoints so i talked to greek i gotta do checkpoint uh checkpoint one checkpoint two and checkpoint three and once i get the reports from those three guys i'll be able to leave but i also got a package you got to drop off at the house of culture so i'm gonna go 
down the road and go to checkpoint three, talk to the guard, get his report, and get these other two reports from these guards, drop off the package, the House of Culture, buy ammo from the vendor here, and then come over to Mark, finish his quests. Once his quests are done, I'll go back to Greek. Uh, he's going to have something for me to do, and then I'm going to have to talk to Asset, which will then refer me to a NPC that's in this five-story building right here about getting the jammers, and we'll be done and done off of uh, this map. So let's go to the first checkpoint and get his report. Okay, so now we're here at gate three, so the first checkpoint on our route. Geek sent me. Got it. Got his report. Let's move on to the next checkpoint. Okay, so here I am at the House of Culture. I decided to make a pit stop here before I hit those two gates and get their reports. So I can come around here to the old coon and give the package and get the money that I was promised. Uh, do you have a job? He's going to ask me to go steal something from the old warehouse. Oh, Franklin. Okay, so let's go ahead and head in here to the House of Culture. There's a quest we can do for the bar guy and get some spider legs, but... It's not essential, it's just a money-making quest. So we're going to go over here to the ammunition dealer, where we can get our weapons repaired or cleaned. And let me see what you have for sale. So simple instruments, I'm going to hold on to those for right now. Uh, I was given 41 bullets for my pistol for some of the quests that I did. But let's go ahead over here, and we got slugs, but I don't want slugs. I want to get... Um, let me actually double check because I completely forgot what my TOZ takes. Uh, so it takes caliber 1270 shells. So I was just about to buy a 1276. I've done that before. So let's make sure we get uh, the green box is what we need. Uh, how many do I want? I'm going to get buckshot. Let's get 50 shells. Should be more than enough. Cost me 1,400 rubles. Um, I got 41 rounds for the revolver right now. I'm going to hang on to those for the time being, but I won't need them for too much longer. I got some personal credits for the House of Culture. I can buy a TT magazine. And you know what? I really don't have any other needs, so it's going to be 8,000 rubles, 80 personal credits. I have enough to do it. So let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, so now I got a TT magazine. I'm going to get a TT pistol for free later on, but now I already have a magazine for that gun, so. Alright, back, and let's get to the checkpoints and get the reports. Okay, so here we are at checkpoint two. Let's go ahead and grab this guy's report. Hello, Greek sent me. Gotcha, got his report. Alright, jumping on to uh, checkpoint one. Alright, checkpoint one. Let's get this guy's report. Hello, Greek sent me. He's going to have a little bit of a story to tell you about some shenanigans that happened. And now we're ready to go back to Mark and finish our trading. And we're going to talk. We're going to do the training with Mark first and then go back to the Commandant's office and turn in that, uh, that quest. So let's jump over to Mark. Okay, so now we're back here at Mark. Let's go ahead and I cleared out the warehouse. Level slop again, and I want to learn how to do a sterile bandage. Okay, um, ready for more training. Where should I start? Look over there along the fences. I have to run two laps around this uh, this park, so it's very important that we start running off in this particular direction here, and doing a counterclockwise or anti-clockwise around the park. All right, first lap is done, so we're gonna have to go to Mark and say that first lap is done. Now it's time, let's run the second lap. All right, second lap has been completed. Let's go, two laps done. Now that our second lap is done, uh, you have the option to do, uh, hey, more training. So we'll start again. You can retake this after 23, okay. Damn, okay, so I'm gonna have to wait. Okay. Yeah, I do have to wait. But, uh, so you can continue to do his quest over and over again. 
And after you do nine laps, uh, he's gonna, it's called the uh, marathon or Olympic or something like that, but you do nine laps around and he'll end up giving you some stabilizing fluid and a small artifact container just for doing nine laps around. Just, but he won't allow me to do it, so uh, let's just uh, continue on. And uh, back to Greek. All right. He just asked us to go down and talk to the stick. He's going to tell us a scary story. All right, quest complete. Let's go back up and talk to Greek. Okay, now all we got to do now is go talk to Acid, finish his quest about the jammers, and we're good to get out of the city. So let's jump to Acid. All right, we're back here at the station. Let's talk to Acid, and we're going to have to do his jammer quest. All right, now that we have his jammer quest, let's go over to Surge. He's going to give us a free TT pistol for our troubles. Let's go. We trade anything for a Nagant. Let's go ahead here and move our Nagant pistol to our backpack. Give our Nagant to him. He's going to give us two magazines. Now we have a TT pistol with uh, an additional two magazines for trading our Nagant revolver. Plus we picked up a magazine for it out of the House of Culture with the uh, points that we had. I thought I gave this, uh... uh okay, I'm gonna have to do that. I, I thought I did that already. But anyway, so let's go interested in your services. What have you got for sale? Let's get rid of all this ammo we do not need anymore. 56 rounds for the TT pistol. And we have a hundred and some credits for this vendor. So what the heck, let's just go ahead and, uh buy another TT magazine that we don't necessarily really need and let's add another oh I don't know another 50 bullets just for the heck of it right uh, 6,700 rubles and we're up to 37,500 uh, now how we're gonna load our magazines we're gonna click on one click on the other using shift click let go of shift all our magazines are highlighted including the one that already has eight bullets in it we're gonna drag this over and drop it on the TT and it's gonna load all of them for us it'll skip the magazines that are already loaded this is a handy tip you could do for getting the thousand magazine loading so there's a, a an achievement that you can get for loading a thousand magazines so if you want to get that achievement quickly what I would recommend doing is uh, getting like 20 cheap magazines the cheapest magazine you can get TT mags are probably gonna be the best for this uh, buy like 20 uh, you know TT magazines and then get uh, like hollow point and FMJ bullets and then highlight all your magazines load FMJ and then highlight all the magazines and then load hollow points into them and going back and forth from hollow points to regular you're not going to have to unload the magazines. He'll just keep loading them and reloading them. And then you can get the 1,000 magazine load to get the achievement for that. But, uh, so yeah, so we got a TT pistol. Let's go ahead and pull that guy out by hitting three. Throw a magazine in it. And now we got ourselves a TT with uh, five extra mags. Uh, I got seven pieces of fried meat, but 13 pieces of uh, raw meat. And remember that guy that was outside? Yeah, I can take uh, that raw meat to him. I have to talk to this guy. It's part of a quest. But uh, this guy right here buys meat. What do you need meat for? 
Okay, I'll get you some meat. I brought some meat. Here you go. And I can get some more Tokarev. Uh, or wait, is that a revolver ammo? Yeah, he gave me TT ammo. So just by trading meat to him, I can get TT ammo. So let me go. And what do you need meat for? I'll get you some meat. Brought you some meat. Here you go. And more personal rep and more 40 more pieces of TT ammo. So I didn't even really have to. I got three pieces left. Uh, and I got 96 rounds of TT ammo just for trading some meat that I just happen to have to him. Doing good. Let's go to our warehouse and drop off some stuff that I found along my adventures. So, over here, turpentine. I can use that for several different things. Stacy flour, I can use that. Uh, spice is very important. This is a quest item later in the game. So, I'm going to definitely hold on to that. Aspirin is handy. Uh, let's see. Throw you in there. Cool. These instruments. Let's hang on to these. Uh, I'll throw this cloth in here for the time being. And these. You can use those for purifying drinking water. Awesome. All right. So let's start getting our jammers so we can get our free SKS rifle and unlock the next map. And I will be jumping to these different jammer locations and I will throw up a map showing all the different points at which uh, you can find these. So there's going to be, uh, once we pull the fuses out of all the different jammers, we're going to have to give them to an NPC that's in this five-story building highlighted in orange. And this is for the vaccine quest, which I'm going to do along the way. So... Let's jump to these different locations, but first, here's a map of all of the uh, the different jammer points, so you can pause the video right here and check out this map. Okay. So, let's go ahead and go to our first jammer. Now, you can use the map as reference, but uh, you don't even need that necessarily, because if I come over here, uh, his workshop, go ahead and clear out all of these. Ten dog tails. We're gonna let me do tracking so I remember to do that. We're gonna go ahead here and track the jammers. So it's gonna give me the location of all the jammers, and these locations will disappear as I go through them. But uh, so we have our first jammer. I usually start with is right here, and this is at Delta Six Keypad Two. Let's jump to our second jammer. All right, second jammer is Delta Six, Grid One, kind of keypad four-ish, seven-ish, like right exactly here where I'm standing. All right, next jammer. Charlie Five, Grid Two, kind of keypad five-ish. Okay, next jammer is right here in front of the Commandant's office. It's literally right in front of the Commandant's office. Charlie 3, Grid 3, Keypad 1. Okay, next jammer. Gate 3, right here in front of the gate. Okay, next jammer right out here outside the House of Culture. So this is Charlie 2, Grid 3, right here on the road. Next jammer, Gate 1, kind of hidden back here in the corner. I was about to say, I'm in a safe zone, dog. But, right here at Gate 1, back in the corner. Next jammer, Gate 2. It's literally right here next to the gate. Not to be confused, over here at, uh, this is Charlie 2, 
grid two, right in the corner, keypad three. This is not one of the jammers that you need. So if you try to interact with it and you're wondering what's going on, this is an, uh, one of the ones on the list. But further down the road is. All right, next jammer is right over here by Mr. Mark. So that is Charlie three, grid four. Okay, our next jammer is uh, right in here at Delta 3, kind of right on the line between 3 and 4. All right, next jammer. So we are still in Delta 3, grid 2, right over here on the edge. That was kind of weird. All right, next jammer. Echo three, grid three, right here in the corner. Okay, next jammer. Kind of skip this one. Delta two, grid four. Okay, next jammer. Echo 4, kind of on the line between 3 and 4, right here on the road. Alright, next jammer. And this here is at uh, Delta 4, grid 4, kind of like right here. Oop. Right about here. Alright. Let's see, Echo 5, Grid 1, kind of right here in the center, keypad 5-ish. And we should have one left on the train platform. Alright, final jammer on the train platform, Echo 6, Grid 1, keypad 4. So now that we have collected all of the fuses from our jammers, we can go ahead and give our fuses to the NPC located over here at Delta 3 Grid 2. Once we give the fuses to him, we should be able to uh, get out of the first map and unlock the second map. So let's jump ahead to him. Okay, so we're now here at the uh, NPC's house in Delta 3 Grid 2, as highlighted by the little orange circle. It's pretty easy to find because it's the only one with the lights on. So we can go ahead and go into this five-story building here, and if you didn't know, there's a lot of buildings throughout the game we can actually go inside of. Uh, you can search for stashes and find different items throughout these buildings. So here's our repair guy. about the jammers uh, what kind of job he wants me to bring him some parts but uh, I'm here on business jammers uh, some other time I don't want to do that quest and let me see what he's got for sale so he's selling a kitchen knife grindstone I'm gonna go ahead and buy that grindstone and then, let's see, 14,000. I need 40 personal credits. I got enough for it. Flashlight's kind of a waste of money. I just adjust the settings on my monitor so I don't really have to use a flashlight too much. Uh, but I am going to pick up this uh, this Bella and this grindstone, though. It's going to be 14,000 rubles, but I'm at 20. Uh, I'll sell up my lead while I'm at it just to offset that cost somewhat. Uh, I'll hang on to that fried meat, though. All right, I'm going to go ahead here and equip my Bella. And I already have some batteries, so let me just go ahead and hit U. Uh, here, charge. Charge my gadget, and then I'm going to drag and drop this over here into the equal sign. And what this is is the radiation counter, so I can turn that on and I can detect uh, radiation levels around me. I generally use it to, um, so I don't have to constantly throw rocks. Uh, if you're running along a, or going along a trail, you have to keep throwing rocks in front of you to, you know, figure out if there's an anomaly there or not. 
but uh, it gets kind of a, annoying and repetitive sometimes but if you just turn that thing on you can kind of just walk along and when you start hearing it spiking and beeping constantly then you know that okay well there's an anomaly nearby so then I'll start throwing my rocks but I always pick up my first one there and uh, now that we're done with the jammers we got to come over here well first we got to talk to this NPC and give him our 10 dog tails so let's go ahead and jump to him Okay, so we have shown the ten dog tails to the NPC at the gate, so we're going to come in here and talk to Alex. Special assignment for me about going outside the walls, laboratory, level up. Uh, let's see, I want to ask you something. Do we trade? Interested in trade points? He will not trade with me. I don't have enough reputation with him yet. But, we should now be able to get outside of the city so let's go ahead here and unlock a couple other things All right, we can now get more stamina it's gonna be five I need to actually get the marathon achievement first so it's gonna take me a little bit before I get that uh, aiming time let's go ahead here and get that speed of which medicines are used on self increase okay uh, first aid heals more efficiently. Three perk points. Yeah, let's go for it. All right, and I can I can get that as I do a couple other quests. But I'm already up to a level 25 as I'm getting ready to leave the city and unlock the next map. So I've basically just done the bare minimum and a couple side quests along the way. Um. And I should be able to get out of this map and get onto the next. Let me actually double check and make sure. Yep, I got my SKS. Let me go ahead here and equip it. You go outside the gate, let me through. All right, everybody, here we are. We are outside the first city now. We just unlocked the technically second map of the game and this is Luba Chatterlands and this is where part two is coming to an end and we'll pick up the rest of our adventure in part three about what to do pretty much next after we get outside the city first let's finish this off by giving Trapper the uh, ten dog tails that we've collected and let's see our ten dog tails are gone we're up to 30,000 rubles again and let me check my level, so level 25, yep. Uh, and that's pretty much it for part two. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped you out. You were able to get through and get out of the city. And if you're just watching along just for the enjoyment of it, then there's that. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one when we pick up part three right after this.